Chevrolet, Chevy Lane, oh no! Chadley, Chadley, oh no! Oh geez, guys, Chadley is playing. You know what that means? That's that's my um, Chris. It's time to do another political video alarm, and it's been going off for several days, which is all well and good. It's only fair since my last video was a very low effort rant, and the video before that was just a cosmic handful of nonsense. So today we're going to be talking about the big thing that's been on everybody's minds, the thing that everybody wants me to talk about. M I L. K, K, we're doing milk. We're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be talking a little bit about milk. But before we get on with today's topic, we're gonna be going over some of the suggestions that you guys gave me the other day, because the other day I asked you guys on Twitter, what should my next video be? I already knew what the next video was gonna be, but I just wanted to see what you guys would suggest, and uh, uh, golly gee, are these just splendid. Talk about memes for 10 minutes. I don't wanna get copyright so I'm gonna talk over this What? What do you think this is? Some kind of meme review? M minus 200 Twitter points for asking me to rip somebody else's channel off while using my face to do it. And also minus 5,000 Twitter points, uh, cause, cause I feel like it. Talk about music. You fucking serious? Jesus Christ. Alright guys, I get the message. Maybe the Count Dankula thing, his trial is coming up soon? I actually have no idea what, what Count Dankula is, I'm gonna look this up real quick. The fuck is this? Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man arrested after teaching girlfriend's pug to perform Nazi salute. Parentheses offensive. This isn't even a joke. This is from fucking RT. This is from RT. This is actual news. I'm also uh, I'm also quite a big fan of uh, putting offensive in parentheses. I really like it when a news organization tells me how I should be feeling. My girlfriend is always ranting and raving about how cute and adorable her wee dog is. And so I thought I would turn them into the least cute thing that I could think of, which is a Nazi. Zeke Heil. Zeke Heil. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? To regard the meticulously planned and industrialized murder of six million people solely on the grounds of their ethnicity as a joke is outrageous. And for someone who does so not claim not to be racist, beggar's belief. Yeah, because it's not like the entire premise of the joke hinges on the fact that in order to find it funny, you have to believe that the Nazis are bad. That's the entire point of the joke, so fuck you, uh, Ephraim Borowski. How about you, Borowski, a brainstem, you gargantuan sack of dicks? Man, this whole story seems way stupider than the milk shit. Damn. I might have picked the wrong subject. And going to our field reporter, Ricky Berwick, is there anything good going on, Ricky? Depends on what you mean by good. Fuck me. Well, there's no real good way to segue out of that, so uh, I think now's as good a time as any to segue into our main topic of discussion, which is, of course, if you've read the title, uh, Milk, and how it's uh, the brand new white supremacist uh, symbol. You know, like that frog that was never a symbol of white supremacy, but became a symbol of white supremacy because the media kept saying it was? Yeah, it's, it's basically that whole thing again. Like, exactly the same. Wait, what you think of this? Oh, God. Milk is the new creamy symbol of white racial purity in Donald Trump's America. And yes, this is a real headline from Mike.com. Is Mike.com satire? I honestly don't know. I googled it, I asked, is Mike.com satire? And I couldn't find an exact answer, so I'm assuming that it's not. The headline of this article is absolutely bewildering to me, because it seems like a headline that I would make up as an example, as some kind of paranoid example about how the future is gonna go insane because of these because of these SJWs. Like, guys, these these social justice warriors, they're really going off the rails. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they would just start calling milk racist because it's white. Yet here we are. We, we've, we've actually arrived at this point in time. This is a real headline. Fuck. And a lot of people are asking me, Chris, why don't you take politics as seriously as you used to? How can I? How can I? How, how can I take this seriously? There's no way to do it. Zero. Did you ever think about how blackboards only exist to be desecrated by white chalk? So if for some reason you're unaware of this, uh, this whole thing started because a bunch of idiots on the uh, He Will Not Divide Us stream back when it was in New York, uh, the, the better one, a bunch of guys just swarmed the camera, took off their shirts, started chugging milk, 
and started saying uh, racially insensitive things. Just really ridiculous, over-the-top, bigoted shit like, um, Hey, all you non-whites, I can drink milk and you can't. <laughs> Just really stupid shit that would offend mom and dad and, and their sheltered little children, but that anyone in their right mind could recognize as just really, just really shitty trolling. It's pretty standard shock humor, honestly. And a lot of you might be saying, Chris, there's nothing funny about telling non-whites that they can't drink milk. That's not a joke. That's not funny. And yeah, that's that's absolutely true. There's there's really nothing funny about it. It's it's not a well-crafted joke. But you have to understand, these aren't professional comedians. These are just edge lords on a stream trying to offend people live because they can. It might be the least funny thing in the world, but you know what? I'm not a I'm not the one to dictate that. I'm I'm not going to tell you what is objectively funny. Have you seen my channel? You think I know what comedy is? Comedy is subjective, and if people find that funny, then they find it funny. That's it's the end of that's the end of it. And let's assume all these guys are legitimate racists. Why, why the fuck would you go on a broadcasted live stream in a public place, uh, in one of the most diverse and liberal places in America, and admit that? I don't know. It seems a little bit fishy. I'm a little bit skeptical about that. And that's not even setting aside the possibility that some of them might be serious. I don't know. They might all be completely genuine. Maybe this guy. He's got a lot of weird tattoos. That's a little suspect. I can't say for sure, but if they are all racist, why are you giving them the power to take fucking milk? Like, w like why let a handful of racists dictate the the public perception of milk? That ain't fair to milk. Milk ain't do nothing wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He's just minding his own milky business. I feel like the mainstream media is just constantly gifting things to the Nazis. Like, hey Nazis, have the most popular meme ever made. Hey Nazis, have this beverage that everybody consumes. Hey Nazis. Why don't you have the biggest YouTuber on in, on the fucking planet? They're just naming all these things as white supremacist symbols so that so that way they can go around justifiably paranoid at everything. Like, oh, I found a Pepe meme. No shit because it's one of the most popular memes ever, but that's going to reinforce my existing belief that white supremacy is everywhere now that that's a white supremacist symbol for no fucking reason. And then they go over some of the bullshit pseudoscience that that made its way to 4chan about how like, oh, only white people can process milk. It's clearly just bullshit. It's clearly just complete bullshit for the sake of a dumb joke, but they're treating it as if it's like a genuine claim. The whole milk chugging anti-vegan narrative is complicated by a number of factors, not least of which being that Adolf Hitler was pro possibly vegetarian for a short time, or that there are many places in Africa where milk is a dietary staple. Then again, white racial purity is a fragile pseudoscience, so trying to find a sound explanation is a tall order anyway. Jesus, it's almost as if nobody looked into this at all, and uh, it's just a half-hearted fucking joke. <laughs> Secret Secret Nazi code kept hidden by milk and vegan agenda. <laughs> yeah, here we are. You know, a lot of people are fascinated by color blindness. You know, the fact that people are born into this world without being able to see reds and blues and shit. Uh, and you know, that, that's that's all well and good. That's that's interesting. Uh, but personally, I'm far more interested in the fact that people are born and or raised into adulthood without ever being taught to perceive irony in the slightest. The people who look at everything they see on the internet and think, yes, this is 100% genuine and true. Even though the unofficial language of the internet appears to be gargantuan sarcasm and unrelenting irony. How those people go about navigating their lives in a world that's completely dominated by the internet, that is, ooh, that is some fascinating shit. Better call National Geographic, because we're gonna, we're gonna start a documentary on the irony blind. Under the YouTube video of the He Will Not Divide Us Nazi Party were semi-sarcastic comments such as these. Heil milk and gas the lactose intolerant milk war now. Yeah, it's semi-sarcastic. Semi-sarcastic. You fucking moron. Imagine, imagine seeing somebody say Heil milk and believing that that's genuine. I'm having a- I'm having a fucking conniption. Oh, look at all these people who I perceive to be racist. They put milk in their names. Guess that means milk is a fucking white supremacist symbol, even though they only started doing that after everybody said it was a white supremacist symbol as in- in a way to take the piss out of the people who believed it. Oh man, I don't understand the internet. Somebody fucking crucify me fucking- Boy! If someone you know starts adding milk emojis to their name and starts talking about how well they can tolerate lactose, it's probably time to defriend. You know what, guys? Not enough is being done. Not enough is being done to solve this racist 
Nazi epidemic sweeping our country and sweeping YouTube. I just, I just can't keep quiet anymore. There are a lot of closet Nazis that I speak to on a regular basis who are just the worst people. And you know what? I didn't ask to be the hero in all of this, but alas, the burden falls upon me. Some are born great, others have greatness thrust upon them. And I have a responsibility thrust upon me to expose the Nazi filth that you have probably been watching if you're on this website at all. So as a service to the greater good and to you guys, I'm going to expose some Nazi YouTubers. And as we've learned from today's main story, there's only one question that really matters. Are you, are you, would you consider yourself a fan of milk? No, you haven't called me up for this. Chris. Are you, are you a fan of milk, Alex? Answer the question. I, yeah, yeah, I drink milk sometimes. Got him. Got him. That's... Would you consider yourself a fan of milk, uh, Mr. Repsion? A fan of milk? A fan of milk. Yes, definitely. Oh, jeez, man. This isn't going good. Would you consider yourself a fan of milk? Uh, yes. Oh, man, it's not, it's not looking good, guys. You, 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 you a fan of milk? What? Are you a fan of milk, Elvis? Milk? Yes, milk. No, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, we got a good one. Are you a fan of milk by any chance? Milk? Uh, not, uh, not necessarily. Another good one. Yo, yo. Hey, Psychic Pebbles. How you doing? I need to ask you a question. Would you, would you consider yourself a fan of the milk? You know, I love drinking. I love gulping it down. You're, you're, you, you, you'd you say you're a fan of milk then? I love guzzling it, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Oh, shit. I get camera today? Yo, you, you fan of milk, man? Yeah, I'm a fan of milk. Got him. What? Got him.